Hey, I'm Andrew with Peculiar Sawdust. Today I'm going to show you how to make a hammer. Well, not this one. One just like it. Using only stuff that you can find around your shop. Your shop. Let's get started. First, you got to find a handle. You need a good sturdy handle. I recommend using that closet rod from the closet remodel that your wife had you do four years ago so that your kids had nice built-ins in their closet and you had to take out that closet rod. You know the one I'm talking about? Yeah, that one. Go find that. It's here someplace. I know I didn't throw it away because I absolutely would use it for something someday because, you know, I'm just that kind of guy and you can always find a purpose for a closet rod. Go find that closet rod. Next, you're going to dig into your wood pile, your giant pile of odds and ends that everybody has. Don't act like you don't have one. And you're going to find a piece of oak. You know, that piece from the railroad pallet that you built building blocks for your kids like a decade ago and you still have for some reason because you don't throw stuff away because it's oak and it's expensive and... Yeah, that. Grab that. That's what you need. Next, you're going to want to find yourself a nice, clean, level, solid work surface. Don't do this on your table saw. You want to keep your table saw nice and clean. That way, whenever you do need to make a cut, you don't have to clean first. So, you want to do this on a nice, clean work surface that's clear from all the distractions. Okay, take your wood, we're going to lay it down on our, totally not a table saw, clean work surface. Ah. We're going to measure out how much do you want for the head of your hammer. Oh look, I got a big old split on this one. That's alright, kids are going to destroy it anyway. That's why you should have a clean work surface, so you don't drop your pencil everywhere. Do what I say, not what I do. Uh, we're going to measure, I'm not even going to measure, I'm just going to come down about like that, draw a line, then you're going to want a skill saw, skill saw, because everybody has a skill saw, right? Skill saw. You're just going to make a cut right across that line. Next, you're going to want to find your Japanese pole saw. Could we finish it with regular power tools? Of course we could. But that Japanese pole saw that your wife got you five years ago makes you feel like an actual woodworker and not some jackass who plays with tools in his basement. Let's finish the cut. Good job. Used a hand tool like a real woodworker. Next, you're going to want to find a spot for the rest of that 4x4 to live. You know, for the next five, ten years until you find your use for the rest of it. That'll work. Now that we've used our hand tools and we no longer feel like a fraud, we're going to attach our handle to our hammerhead. We drill a hole. More power tools. Hey, you remember that shelf that you built years ago to store all of your fancy Farstner bits, but it wound up being in a terrible location, and now it's just a pain to get to? Yeah, go find those and find a Farstner bit that'll drill a hole the same size as the diameter of your handle.
Nope, too small. Damn it. That one will work. Next, you're going to want to swap the battery from your saw over to your drill because you didn't plan ahead and you don't have more than one charged battery at the time at the moment. <clears throat> Pick which side you're going to drill the hole in. How about that one? Look at you. Find the middle. It's not that serious. Put it in the middle. job. Next, you're going to go over to your router table with your quarter inch roundover installed. We're just going to round over all these edges because it's for a kid and we don't want sharp pointy sides. So run it through there, make all the sharp edges soft. Now that we've got it all rounded off and nice and pretty, let's put it together. Got your handle, got your hammerhead. Okay, it's a little stiff. It's okay. But we're going to use glue. Yes, it's Elmer's school glue. It's not that serious. Congratulations, you built the hammer. Its handle is probably longer than it needs to be to be practical. But who cares? You built the hammer. Congratulations. What's that thing that Viking guy on TikTok always says? Hammer!